Oh, children. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not going to lie to you. I've told you from the start this is a tough year. Right? So, it just gets harder. Okay? I really don't think this chapter is hard. You're going to be learning some new type of math. There's stuff that you're not going to like to do. But as far as difficulty, I don't think this is difficult if you just pay attention. And I'm going to start easy. We're not going to start graphing things yet. We're not going to uh, find x-intercepts of, of like cubics and quartics and, and quintics, which means x to the third, x to the fourth, x to the fifth. You will have to sketch those graphs. You will be finding x-intercepts of those. But I think we're just going to start off with, especially today, because I don't know about you, it's been a long week, and you're probably as brain dead too, because it's just trying to get back in the swing of things as well, right? So let's start with some easy math today, and then we'll move forward from there, okay? So all we're going to, this whole unit, and this is another long unit, by the way. This is a big test. Everything from here on out is going to be long, almost, okay? So this unit is about polynomials, okay? What does poly mean? Four means poly doesn't mean four what does poly mean multiple. multiple more than one so if we graph this that's a binomial and if I graph that what would that be what type of graph is that mm -hmm. it's a line how it's linear perfect how do you know it's a line you need to know this stuff I, I am I don't want to keep having to say it how do I know that this is linear? What's my exponent up here? A 1. When your biggest exponent is a 1, it's linear. Do you understand that? You can't forget that. Okay. Now, that's also a binomial, but it's not linear. What is it? I'm weeping inside right now. What's the biggest exponent? Two. So what does that mean? Uh, when you graph it, lines. when you <laughs> stop, pause. That's a. When your biggest exponent is two, it's called a quadratic. Ooh. And what does it mean? The graph looks like smiley face or. Okay. This is not difficult. Maybe this math is going to be hard if you don't know this stuff, for crying out loud. Okay, those are all polynomials. I could have a trinomial. It's a polynomial. Trinomial would be something like this. Y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. That's still a quadratic. Why is it still a quadratic? Because it's bigger than 1. No. Because why, Avonlea? Because the biggest exponent is a 2. Okay? This isn't hard. Now, before we go any further, we need to talk about some things. We're going to talk about, maybe we better talk about degree and coefficients. The degree of a polynomial is the biggest exponent. Okay? The coefficients are the numbers in a polynomial. Or monomial, it doesn't have to be a polynomial. Okay? So, we're going to go through this one at a time. Look here. What exponent is above the x? 
even though you can't see it. A one. And what would the exponent, this, just so you understand this, this could be written as the same thing as x to the first plus five times x to the zero. This and this right here are the exact same thing. Because what's anything, don't blot out this answer unless you know it because I'm tired of stupid responses. What's anything to the zero power? Zero. No. One. Anything to the zero power is one. So here's my mathematical proof. Okay, let's start with, I don't care, let's start with two. What's two to the first? What's two to the second? What's two to the third? What's two to the fourth? What's two to the fifth? Now let's go back. So what am I doing going this, going this direction? What am I doing every time? Multiplying by... So going the opposite direction, what would I be doing? So 32 divided by 2 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. What's 2 divided by 2? 1. Do you agree? Now look at your exponents. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 2 to the 0 power would be 1. And that's the same for any number. So that's my mathematical proof. Do you understand that? So because x to the 0 is 1, and 5 times 1 is what? That's why this looks exactly like this. So if they ask you what the degree of the first term is, what's the degree of this term? 1. What's the degree of this term? 0. The degree of the polynomial is the bigger number. What's the biggest number? So on this one right here, the degree is 1. Okay. My coefficients are, what's the number in front of the x? So the coefficient of the first term is 1. The coefficient of the second term my pencil's not working. Okay, what's the number in front of here? So the coefficient is 5. The leading coefficient is the number in front of the biggest exponent. So is the 5 in front of the biggest exponent or is the 1 in front of the biggest exponent? The 1. Okay. Let's say I gave you something like 3x to the third minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 8. Okay, let's talk about the first term. What's the degree of the first term? What's the degree here? 3, because the exponent is 3. That's the degree. The coefficient, what's the coefficient of the first term? 3. three. Let's go to the second term. What's the degree? Two, because that's what the exponent is. What's the coefficient? Let's look at the third term. What's the degree here? One, because the exponent is a one. What's the coefficient? And look at the fourth term. What's the degree here? Zero. What's the coefficient? Okay, now if I want to know the degree of the polynomial. What's the degree of the polynomial? It's the biggest exponent. So what's the biggest exponent? So the degree of the polynomial is 3. What's the leading coefficient then? If this is the biggest number, this is the biggest coefficient. That's the leading coefficient. Does that make sense? Okay, that's not rocket science. Okay? Now, we're just going to do polynomial math today. So if I ask you to do something like this, let's just start easy, I hope. Now I'm scared. If I gave you 4x squared, subtract 5x, plus 6, and I ask you to add 2x squared, 
plus 3x subtract 1. Please do that very quickly if you can do that. Hopefully you remember from pre-algebra that you only can add and subtract unlike ter or like terms, right? So if I go here, I have 4x squared, and I'm adding. Do I have any x squareds over here? I have 2x squared, so that would give me what? 6x squareds. And then I have a negative 5x, and I add plus a plus 3x would be a negative 2x. And then I have a positive 6 plus a negative 1, which would be a positive. How many of you got that correct? Now I want you to subtract them, please. So write down the same problem, but put a subtract there. See if you can do that problem, please. Still got to combine like terms, like terms only. So I have a 4x squared. I subtract 2x squared. And what do I get? 2x squared. I have a negative 5x. And I subtract a positive 3x. So a negative 5x subtract 3x would be what? Negative 8x. I have 6 subtract a negative 1. 6 subtract a negative 1, which means plus. So I'd have a plus. How many of you got that correct? Good. Okay. So we've added, we've subtracted. Guess what else we can do? We can multiply, so let's see how good you are here. 4x squared, I won't make it so hard. Let's do this. Let's go minus 5x plus 6. Let's go times 3x minus 2. See if you can do that, please. If it was a binomial times a binomial, what would you do? You'd FOIL. So what are you going to do here? You're going to FOIL the same thing. Basically, you're just going to keep doing the distributive property. Does it matter in what order? Could I have written it this way instead? Yes? Yeah, it's the same thing. Me, personally, I like it the second way. I like the smaller nomial first. Total matter of preference doesn't matter. But let's start here. I'm going to use different colors. You start here. And you go this times this. 4 times 3 is 12. What's x squared times an x? x cubed. Then you go to here. And you got 4x squared times a negative 2. Well, 4 times a negative 2 is a negative 8x squared. That is now done. Check. Now we'll go to here. What's a negative 5x times 3x? Negative 15x squared. And then a negative 5x times a negative 2 is a positive 10x. That's done. Check. Then you go to the next one. And you go to here. And positive 6 times 3x is a positive 18x. And a positive 6 times a negative 2 is a negative 12. Am I done? What am I going to do? Combine your like terms. Simplify it. So are there any more x cubes anywhere? No. So I have 12x cubed. Then I have a negative 8x squared. And then I have a negative 15x squared. So if I'm in the hole 8x squared and I go 15 more in the hole... I'm in the whole what? 23x squared. And then I go to a positive 10x plus 18 more x's is going to give me a positive. And then I just have a... Okay, let's see how much we remember. Okay. What's the degree of the polynomial there? What's the leading coefficient? 12. 
the number in front of the biggest exponent is your leading coefficient. Okay? Now, we have added, we have subtracted, and we have multiplied. The one thing we are not doing today is dividing because you're not going to like it very much. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to learn this thing called long division and synthetic division. But that's for maybe tomorrow. Okay. Today, that's all we're going to be doing is just those three. Okay, so you should get these done in class. Okay, so let me write down some problems. Now, to save time, for the first, oh, let's say, well, I didn't do a very good job of, let's do this. I'm just going to have to make them up then. Okay, for the first two, you're going to do all three for them. So number one, it is 6x squared plus 5x plus 10. Okay, and then I'm just going to give them, well, let's, I'm just going to give them to you. You're going to have 4x squared plus 6x plus 12. And then number two, you're going to have 7x squared plus 6x minus 7, and you're going to have 4x squared minus 2. And for those two, you're going to add, subtract, and multiply. Okay? And then number three, I'm going to give you 2x minus 3 cubed to see if you can do that. By the way, the answer is not 8x cubed minus 27. If you put that answer, I'm going to mark your assignment as not done. Number four... I'm going to give you 4 times x squared plus 5x subtract 6 minus 3 times 2x squared plus 4x minus 5. Just do the math there. And... Last but not least, let's do hmm, let's go three x cubed times five x squared minus two x times x minus four. Those are your th five, whatever main problems.